Welcome back. It's another arriving at video, and I'm very excited about this one, which I'll uh, I should explain in a few moments. We are going to be arriving at Stally Bridge. Stally Bridge. I'm terrified that at times I'm pronouncing some of these stations woefully incorrectly. Um, yes, this is a class. 101 diesel multiple units and uh, I really ever since I did the introduction on this I've quite honestly really struggled with this one actually driving this one um, it once you get it though once you get the hang of it it's so rewarding there's so much more going on here than a regular a regular diesel if that makes sense so uh, yeah I did the introduction and it was terrible absolutely terrible and you've got to be really on your ball with this one because the best way of explaining it is the um, the way you drive this is more like a car with, with a conventional gear system so you've got to go up a gearbox I think you've got four speeds and every time you change gear you need to take the you need to take the throttle all the way back down and allow the revs to come down and you've actually got a rev counter and as soon as it gets into the right area you do need to change um, and that really is uh, that kind of dynamic there it keeps you on your toes and then you've got the braking system I think it's called laps no idea what that means but um, it's kind of similar to turning a tap on so it'll always be pressurizing until you stop it kind of similar to the class 66 I think that's probably a bad comparison but I'm really enjoying this now and I'm going to really be digging deep into some journeys in this little DMU I like this kind of train I used to like years ago so here we are I was so happy, it was quite a good stop, pretty much on time. Really, really quite difficult to get the, get the hang of the braking, let alone the gear system. And don't forget the gear system is obviously uh, affected as well by what kind of gradient you're on. So you, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. A challenging, challenging little engine this one, especially when it's on a difficult line. Here we go. Pretty, uh, pretty pleased with this, I must admit. I couldn't have done it any better. And what made this possible, hang on a second, let me just grab the Practica, 35mm of course. And we'll get ourselves a quick picture for the, uh, for the album. There we go. Very pleased. Do we go for a walkabout? No, I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. So there you go. You guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. At the fascist intimidation, because that's what it is. <laughs>